The third game of the Texas Longhorn season is here. It pits them against number 22 Old Miss. Bo Wall sends a man in motion. On the run to the left finds Moncrief on the right side of the field. Dante Moncrief, 14 yard gain in the first first down of the game, of the game on the very first play. Wallace looks to the sideline, sends Morgan in motion, snaps the ball, fake handoff, finds Moncrief again on what appears to be the exact same play for an 11 yard gain. Well better executed that time than the first time. Wallace comes out in the shotgun, two guys in the backfield, two running backs. He snaps it, looking again. He's looking for Moncrief, and Moncrief gets two feet in bounds. Three passes, three first down for the Ole Miss Rebel. And they're carving up the Texas Longhorns defense. Jamez Logan now gets involved with a nice 15-yard first down reception. Four passes, four first downs for Bo Wallace. And here they go, looking to make it five for five. Wallace looks to the sideline for the play. He's going to drop back, hand the ball off this time, and Walton is going to get met in the backfield by Jackson Jeffcoat for a gain of zero. You would think that the way the game started off, Bo Wallace would just have continued to throw the ball, but the first handoff of the game, and they're gonna hand it off again to Walton again, and Jeff Coates gonna stop him in the backfield this time. A loss of two. They're, go they're for sure forced into a throwing down here, third and 12. Bo Wallace, though, has been near perfect this game. He's dropping back, looking left. He's got a man coming across the middle. Vince Sanders, an 18 yard reception and the Ole Miss Rebels are going to go up 7-0 early here on number 9 ranked Texas. Ole Miss set to kick the ball away. It's deep. Duke Johnson set to return it and he's cutting it back middle. He's got some room on the outside. One man to beat. The kicker will not get him. Number 5 comes up short and he's gone. Duke Johnson's going to tie the game up just like that. 102 yard return. For the backup, for the third string halfback, DeJay Johnson. DeJay Johnson, that's not the actual record. I know that, I'm going to, but in game, it's a new record. 102 yard return for DeJay Johnson, and Texas quickly ties it back up at seven. DeJay Johnson, the, sp the return specialist, after a quick rest on the bench. Old Miss's offense takes the field once again, looking to carve up the Texas defense as they did before. Wallace with the play action. He's got a man, but it's intercepted. Duke Thomas has got the ball, and he's headed the other way. No one will catch him. Ball Wallace can't get there. Touchdown, Texas, and just like that, the offense hasn't even seen the field yet, and they're up 14-7. Bo Wallace sends Morgan in motion, and it looks to be the same play that they burned them earlier. Wallace, though, has to no choice but to throw it away out of bounds. Wallace hands the ball off to Walton up the middle. Walton with a little bit of a stutter, but he cuts it outside. A missed tackle, and Jalen Walton with a nice seven-yard gain, bringing up third and three. Bo Wallace Chet looks to the sideline to the coach to get the next play. Bo Wallace snaps it back, looking left, looking right. He's got his man Moncrief, the man of the hour. The first quarter monster Moncrief catches yet another first down. After a false start, first and 15 for the Ole Miss Rebels. Another play action for Wallace, and he's got his man Parker. Parker down the sideline. Quandre Diggs will force him out of bounds after a incomplete pass on first down, bringing up second and 10 for him. Sanders, Vince Sanders on the wide receiver. Uh, off, off handoff. He picks up six, make, making it third and four. Bo Wall sends a man in motion, dropping back in the pocket. He's got a man wide open. Mathers. First down and 10, 16 yard reception, and they're moving the ball again, carving up this Texas defense. But just quickly, third and 10. Wallace sends a man in motion. Wallace is going to drop back into the pocket. Looks like he may have a man. He's got a man, but he doesn't find him. Over, and Duke Thomas knocks it away. Bo Wallace had a man open on the left side, but wanted to force it towards the right. After a sloppy handle on the return, the Longhorns get the ball at the one. Caleb Jones over the middle catches the first reception for the Longhorns offense in the very first play. Second play is a handoff. Malcolm Brown's got room off the right side. A nice run, 13-yard run by Malcolm Brown. McCoy in the place of Jalen Overstreet. McCoy is going to pitch the ball. Malcolm Brown's got more room off the left side. Can't get quite get to the first down. It's third and five after a sack on Case McCoy. McCoy's going to drop back. He's got a man open. Over the middle, Jones can't hold on for the hold on to the ball, and the Texas Longhorns are forced to punt. Bo Wallace comes out, looking to move the ball effectively as they have their first two possessions. 
Bo Wallace is dropping back. He's got a lot of time. He's running out of time. And Jackson Jeffcoat gets home. And Bo Wallace held onto the ball a little too long. Third and 12 now. Bo Wallace dropping back. Won't get rid of the ball. Jackson Jeffcoat into the backfield. Giving the ball back to the Longhorns offense. Case McCoy under center. First and 10. He's going screen play. He's got it open, but it's knocked away by the cornerback. A nice play. Not biting on the not biting on the screen pass. McCoy looking deep. He's got a man going deep. Mike Davis can't bring it down. Knocked away by Carlos Davis. In case McCoy starting off cold. Coming out again. Bo Walls looking to have a little bit more of an effective game. He's got a man. But Sanders, Vince Sanders breaks the tackle but can't break the second one. A short one yard gain for the Ole Miss offense. Second and nine. Bo Walls looks over to the sideline to get the play once again. They're running the hurry up here. So he's trying to get plays as they go. Walton, a nice little run, nice little five yard run, making it third and four. Ole Miss really needs to com convert this third and four to take advantage of the stalemate that is going on right now. But Wallace has got room. He finds Walton, and there's the first down. Ole Miss picks up a, a well needed first down, and they're quickly back to the line. Wallace gets the play from the sideline. He's going to hand it off again. Walton's got room. Walton. Almost picks up the first down. A nice nine-yard carry, making it third and one. Walton, uh, Wallace looks over to the sideline. He's going to send Walton into the back. He hands it off, and Jeff Coat and the entire defensive line of the Longhorns will meet him there, forcing him to punt. McCoy comes out in five wide set. He's got a man coming across the middle, but he chooses to go out to Sanders. A nice little eight-yard game, but second down stalls. Third and two, quick. Can They need this first down. He's got his man, Mike Davis, over the middle. A nice first down, a well-needed first down for the Longhorns offense. They need to put up some points just for their confidence. A handoff to Malcolm Brown. Malcolm Brown's got a little room up the middle for third and two. A nice six-yard carry. They need to pick this up and continue to move the chains. McCoy hands it off. Brown, Brown can't find any room. And it's a loss of one. A stop by the Ole Miss Rebels. They get the ball back. An incomplete pass on first down brings it to second down and 10. Bo Wallace is going to drop back in the pocket. He's looking deep. His man's not there, but he gets his another man, Morgan, cutting back across the middle. He lost his defender, and a nice pickup by Morgan. First and 10 for the Ole Miss Rebels. Bo Wallace looking, looking deep. He doesn't have his man, but he cuts towards the middle, and Moncrief burning the Texas Longhorns defense in the first half just absolutely destroying them Bo Wallace having a fine first half minus that interception he's gonna send Morgan in motion you've seen this play before the guy's not open this time Wallace though fits it in Jamez Logan but quickly it's third and six for the Ole Miss Rebels two stalling plays a run and then an incomplete pass Wallace looking he's got a man he gets it to Moore but Moore is tackled by Eccles a field goal is forced by the Longhorns making it 14-13 Back is DeJay Johnson. Can he do it again? He looks middle. He's going to cut it back outside. He's got room. Is he going to get caught? He hits him with a little dirty step back, and he is gone. The kicker takes a bad angle, and DeJay Johnson has touchdown number two. The offense has scored zero points, but the Texas Longhorns have 21 points on the board. Two by the hands of DeJay Johnson and one by the defense. Bo Wallace now finds himself in an eight-point hole. He's got a man, though. He's got Treadwell on the outside for a nice nine-yard pickup. Second and one for the Ole Miss Rebels. Well, Wallace is going to drop back. He's throwing it again. He's got a man, Jamez Logan, on the outside for a first down. With 33 seconds to go, the Ole Miss Rebels need to get at least a field goal up on the board. Cut the deficit just a little bit and make it look... But Jackson, Jeffcoat, gets into the backfield and puts that idea out of the minds for at least now second and 17 29 seconds to go Bo Wallace trying to get something deep it won't get there Duke Thomas interception and Longhorns have a chance to put some points on the board 21 13 at the moment 24 13 or 28 13 would be almost demoralizing to the old Miss Rebels 20, 18 seconds to go after an incomplete pass by Case McCoy. He's going to drop back. He's looking deep. He's got a man. He's going to let it fly. It's complete. Johnson. Marcus Johnson with the first down. 12 seconds to go for the Longhorns offense. First and 10. He's got a man over the middle, but he's going deep. Mike Davis, the touchdown, and the offense finally puts some points on the board. That's going to do it for the first half. 
We'll talk to you after the halftime break. Texas to receive the second half kickoff. It's underway. DJ Johnson ready to take the ball again. He's going to cut it out left, cut it towards the middle, out right, and he's gone. The kicker over pursued forward, and there's no one who's going to catch him. DJ Johnson, the third touchdown of the game. The kick returner puts in number three, has outscored the offense and the defense combined. He's got 21 points. He's outscoring the Ole Miss Rebels on his own. And Bo Wallace really needs points now. Down 22 early in the third. Hands it off to Walton, and Walton breaks the tackle. A nice five-yard gain. Bo Wallace and company, though, couldn't do anything on second down. And now it's third down and five. They need to pick up this first down. Hands it there, throws it out to Mathers, and he won't get it. Texas comes out after a nice return by Quandre Diggs. Case McCoy is going to go with the read option. McCoy's got some room. McCoy tries to cut it up middle in a nice nine-yard run by Case McCoy. Second down and one. A nice little gap on the left side, and they're going to hand it off. Malcolm Brown's going to cut it up middle. A nice little six-yard run, and it's first and goal for the Texas Longhorns. The offense looking to pad the lead a little bit here and put almost a dagger into this game with a touchdown. McCoy has got a guy open. He finds Mike Davis. Can't get into the end zone, but a nice seven-yard gain. Gets them that much closer to the, to the end zone. Third and goal quickly, though, after an incomplete pass, and McCoy's going to audible the, the run back, and then back again after the line does not move, trying to get them to move, but doesn't matter. Malcolm Brown up the middle, and this game is getting out of hand. 41-13, and after the extra point, 42-13. If there's any chance that the Ole Miss Rebels are going to get back into this game, it's going to require a score and a score fast. And that's the man. It's the man who's been doing it for him all day. Dante Moncrief with a first down. After an incomplete pass on first down, Bo Wallace is going to step back again. Looking. He's, he can't get rid of it, but Jeff Coe can't get the sack. Wallace, an impressive little runaround. Jamez Logan misses, dodges a tackle, and Jamez Logan with a nice carry. But after a one-yard loss, an incomplete pass. Bo Wallace is, is faced with third and 11. He's got a man, though. He's got his man on the sideline. Morgan with a nice reception. Quandre Diggs moving out to cover. Wallace has not got a man, but there he comes into the screen. Vince Sanders, another nice uh, support player for Bo Wallace in this offense who has been making big plays all day. Bo Wallace dropping back. Needs a touchdown here. Look at Gets sacked to Jackson Jeffcoat down low, and he gets taken out. Fourth and goal. Ole Miss will probably go for the field goal, but Jackson Jeffcoat has just set the score record for sacks in a game with five, which is such an amazing achievement. Five sacks already, and you're not even through the third quarter. They do put three on the board, making it 42-16. And Case McCoy is going to run a little option here. He pitches it out. Malcolm Brown's got some room. Malcolm Brown, a nice carry. And now McCoy comes out third and seven after two awful plays on first and second down. Mike Davis has got a little bit of room but can't get there. A field goal is taken by the Texas Longhorns. And Bo Wallace and company have work to do. Fourth quarter as Bo Wallace throws the ball away on first down. Second down and ten. For the old Miss Rebels. Wallace dropping back in the pocket. Looking. He can't get rid of it in time. Jackson Jeff Coat 
gets home. Wallace sends Morgan in motion. He's going to drop back. Looking. Trying to avoid it. Wall Wallace almost gets sacked again. And there he is. Turner with the interception. Almost was an interception for Carrington Bynum and Bryce Eccles. But alas, Turner gets the interception. McCoy is going to drop back to throw the ball on third and 13. He's got a man and it's intercepted. Lewis intercepts him. An errant pass by Case McCoy. A poor decision gives Bo Wallace and company good field position. But Jackson Jeffcoat's got different ideas. A 10-yard sack forcing them to second and 20. Jackson Jeffcoat with another sack. An NCAA record now with seven sacks. And Jackson Jeffcoat is just putting on a clinic out there for the Texas Longhorns. Bo Wallace and company after an incomplete second down coming out for third and 20. They need to get something good here. He tries to throw a screen. Scott's going to force him out of bounds. And Jalen Walton is actually going to lose a yard. But Old Mold Miss is able to tack on at least a field goal, making it 45 19. McCoy's going to hand it off to Joe Bergeron for a zero for a, for no gain. Sequez Golton Golson picks up his fourth tackle of the game. McCoy's going to hand it off again. Joe Bergeron going outside, picking up the first down would be huge, but Bergeron breaks the tackle and is unable to get it. Third down and ten for the Texas Long or third down and inches for the Texas Longhorns. A manageable down and should be an easy pickup. McCoy's going to hand the ball off Bergeron. He's got the room and picks it up a hard takes a hard hit. And does his job and holds on to the ball. A pitch out. Bergeron. He's got a little room. He's got some room on the outside. He's going down the sideline and pushed and tackled by his heels. Down at the six yard line. Second and goal for the Texas Longhorns. He's going to hand the ball up the middle to Malcolm Brown. And Malcolm Brown down to the two yard line. Third and goal. Joe Bergeron inserted back into the backfield. Bergeron gets the ball and into the end zone. Touchdown Texas. A one-yard rush from Joe Bergeron, and it's 52-19. The defense, Jackson Jeffcoat, 12 tackles, 7 sacks. Two minutes to go in the game. Jeffcoat pumping up the Longhorns crowd, and Jeffcoat spin, swim move inside, and he got Bo Wallace again. An eight-yard loss, sack number eight, third and 18 for the Ole Miss Rebels. The game is out of reach now. Just looking to pad a little bit of stats and maybe get the game a little bit closer, maybe score a touchdown. But Jeff Coates got different ideas. He slams Bo Wallace to the ground. And another sack for Jackson. Jeff Coates, seven seconds to go. The game in hand. The ball handed off to the fullback, De La Alex De La Torre. And that's going to do it for the game. The Texas Longhorns are going to take the game 52-19 to over the Ole Miss Rebels, the 22nd ranked Ole Miss Rebels. That's it for this week. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next week.